Uh, hi, Sanjeev. Good afternoon. How are you? Good afternoon, sir. I'm fine, sir. How are you, sir? I'm good. Thank you, Sanjeev. Uh, Sanjeev, I'm just going through your resume. You yes, have sir. an eight-year experience. Yes, sir. As a data management, managing a lot of data, and you are managing the university data. Yes, sir. Okay. Right. And uh, also, uh, I can see that your resume, you do also mentorship in that uh, organization. Exactly, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, how, uh, can you elaborate uh, how how do you manage the uh, like uh, student data, university data, you know? Yes, sir. Yeah. So, yes, sir. Uh, thank you for giving me the opportunity to uh, elaborate on the things. Uh, so uh, here we have a uh, lot of uh, types of data actually. So uh, we come up with, uh, uh, I can say, uh, one is the marks related thing data, one is admission related thing data, one is HR related thing. So there are many types of uh, data what we deal with. And uh, uh, sometimes it is internal data, sometimes it is external data. So uh, we take up uh, one thing at a time and uh, uh, we give the presentation to our higher executives so, uh, so that uh, they can uh, take up the decision like uh, where to invest and how to invest. So it's all about uh, uh, investment and getting the returns. So uh, that's how uh, we manage. I mean, in short, I just told you so. Okay. Uh, do you follow the data warehousing approach? Yes, sir. Uh, because it has to be followed because uh, whatever the data that we uh, get, the raw data, it is not in a proper order. And uh, once we get the data, we need to filter it and uh, we need to store it in a uh, data warehouse. And from there, we can uh, proceed to the uh, analysis part. Okay. While collecting data to from different data sources, and uh, you are uh, integrating, uh, in transforming the data, and uh, find, uh, you know uh, applying all the transformation in staging area, uh, and yes. uh, finally you, the, all the data you are loading into data warehousing. Inside the data warehousing, a lot of data mart is there. So yes. uh, what is that approach? The approach for the loading data, you do directly data to data warehousing. Yeah, uh, you do data mart, then you load the data. Sir, actually, that is a, a challenging part of what we face because we need to collect data from uh, different departments. So if we, if, we, if I'm talking about uh, some admission related data, so uh, some of this will be internal and majority of the things will be from the external. And if we are talking about uh, uh, like any academic related things, then we need to run behind so many people and we, we need to collect the data. That is a challenging part. And once we get it, then we need to combine it because the format might change and uh, uh, all these things. So we need to filter the data and uh, then only we can uh, proceed for uh, uh, the uh, visualization, I mean, uh, the warehousing and uh, finally visualization. Okay. So this, uh, uh, like uh, when you, uh, like people are consuming the data, who they are like your stakeholder? Sir, uh, uh, there are two, three people uh, actually what we report to. Uh, so one is our uh, dean. So he's more, more uh, interested in the academics part. Uh, mm -hmm. And one is our vice chancellor. So he is more uh, related to like uh, future uh, admissions law, like uh, what can be the future admissions and uh, so all these things. And of course, the last but not the least is our uh, chairman. So that he is the is a boss, and uh, he is interested into like what can be the future. So how can we further enhance the uh, quality? How can we further enhance the admissions? So uh, all these things, and what are the consumables, non-consumables? So this is how two three people are the. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, we need to report, and they are the end users for us. Okay, and uh, academic head or department head, sometimes even they. Uh, demand for data reporting, data analysis to enhancing, to improving yes. the student, uh, you know, quality, sir. Quality, yeah. so, okay, yes. got it. How will define insight? What do you mean, data insight? So, uh, to put it in one or two sentences, insight is the uh, meaning that we extract from the data. So, uh, sometimes it is just uh, like uh, 
uh, mingled with knowledge but knowledge is different and insight is different so in knowledge is just a, a meaning out of the data but, but insight in the sense uh, how exactly uh, the data can be used uh, why it is stored how it is stored and using the data what can we do in the future so that is how uh, i mean that is what is the insight of the data sir and uh, what are the data classification can you tell what are the different type of classification of data and with example so uh, basically the data is classified into like uh, structured unstructured uh, and type and semi structured, semi -structured. Yeah. yes sir so uh, structured in the sense what is there in the uh, table format like rows and columns so that is the easiest uh, data what we can target and uh, semi structured it's like uh, uh, a json file so yeah. there is some structure but still there the structure is not exactly uh, available but unstructured is the one with, where we uh, uh, we need to follow and we need to work a lot so some things like uh, uh, sometimes we even take the data from facebook twitter and all so what is trending and from there we collect the data and from that we need to do some analysis like sentiment analysis and all these things so uh, that is the unstructured uh, data okay as when i telling sentiment yes sir. what is that sentiment mean like so uh, like uh, uh, just i mean uh, india pakistan match just now uh, there was a india pakistan match again yeah. there will be a india pakistan match so uh, what is the trend that is going on so a lot of people will be uh, putting tweets and a lot of uh, so many uh, things will be going on so from there we will we'll take the uh, tweet from there and we'll uh, we'll just see who who are they supporting or uh, what is the trend like virat kohli scored a 50 so some people uh, like virat kohli some people do not like virat kohli that's a common nature so how, how are the trends going on so uh, like that and even uh, just uh, today only i got to know that uh, in bangalore uh, people who are standing uh, below the uh, bridge when it is raining they will be fined 500 rupees or 1000 rupees so again uh, what is the trend going on in that some people support it some people do not support it so that's how the trend is going on and we we need to analyze the data sir okay nice analytics is classified what are three types and what they are with example the analysis can be done in uh, multiple ways actually so one is uh, mathematically we can do one is uh, uh, programmatically we can do and uh, visualization using visualization so there are many ways in which uh, we can do the uh, analysis so mathematically in the sense we need to build a model and mm -hmm. uh, we need to uh, uh, give out a lot of formula for that programmatically in the sense we need to write all the programs java code and all these things visualization is uh, uh, what can be done using excel and uh, tableau okay what is your involvement in that project can you please from from starting to end what is your involvement on that yes, so uh, basically uh, we communicate with uh, the stakeholder uh, that is uh, the board of directors of our uh, uh, department and uh, the uh, organization and we understand the requirement and uh, what can be the uh, i mean business requirement or uh, any other requirement that they have and we collect the data so uh, uh, for that we have uh, some team which is spread out uh, across some uh, departments then uh, once we get the data either using excel we uh, filter the data or using uh, sql so in sql again uh, we have a lot of uh, things like uh, uh, sql join operations uh, we can use or sql uh, uh, where clause or uh, anything simple having group by so and uh, uh, sometimes we even use ranking uh, stored procedures triggers so like that we we use different concepts uh, of sql and uh, we filter out the data and then once we have that we need to visualize like uh, what is a uh, uh, i mean graph it, uh, uh, in a graph format so we uh, take that data and uh, uh, come to the excel so in excel again uh, we use uh, uh, data validation and uh, uh, any any excel function uh, that the small small functions uh, uh, if we have if we are uh, if it is uh, required and we look up definitely we look up is the best option that we use and of course the uh, pivot table so that's how uh, we uh, connect the data and uh, coming to tableau so uh, tableau we have uh, i mean the excel sheet which is to <clears throat> which is stored 
uh, we take the data from there and uh, based on the uh, interest, we go for the uh, analysis and finally representation. Okay, nice. What, what is uh, data modeling? What do you understand data modeling? Uh, data modeling, uh, not able to exactly recall, sir, like uh, the definition. Okay, okay. Uh, fine, no problem. So, uh, coming to like he, you know, uh, Tableau part. Yes, sir. Uh, what are the different data types available in Tableau? So, uh, basically, some five, six, or five to six types are available. One is for the string that is text and uh, numerical, and uh, Boolean is available, and uh, date, date and time, and uh, geographical. So, these are some. Uh, data types which are available in tableau okay uh, can you explain the tableau product of family so uh, tableau has uh, three to four levels like uh, tableau uh, online and uh, tableau uh, server and uh, tableau readable only only to read and uh, tableau uh, uh, collaborate, I think, to uh, where we can go and uh, put on whatever the project that we build, so we can build and uh, share it. And Tableau online is uh, what we use uh, okay. for sharing and all this. What is the SQL custom code in Tableau? How, how, how do you approach SQL custom code? So uh, in Tableau, uh, if we want to filter out some data or if we want to apply some, uh, basically uh, some aggregate functions, let's say, so, uh, or if you want to filter out some data, then using SQL, if the uh, data is available in SQL and we want to directly import it into Tableau, then we make use of the custom code, uh, which is available, that option available in the uh, Tableau. So from there, we can first import the data, then uh, filter out whatever the things that are required and not required. And then once we import the data, the data will be imported into uh, Tableau and we can go for the visualization. Suppose you want to build a project in Tableau. Can yes. you tell from scratch to till the, uh, you know, uh, finalize our project and explain yes, all the steps? Yes, sir. So. Uh, once we uh, have the uh, uh, tool installed uh, in, in the Tableau, once we open it, uh, the first thing we need to do is create project. And once we create the project, uh, we need to import the data. Now, again, importing the data, there are multiple uh, sources from where we can import. We can import from Excel sheet. We can import from CSV file. We can import it from uh, the server, uh, the SQL server. So what we just uh, discussed. So once the data is obtained, once the data is ready, then uh, we again need to filter if we want and uh, then uh, Again, uh, 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 like uh, which column uh, is required, what is the uh, row and format we need to decide. And it depends on the requirement, what is already given by the uh, client. And from there, uh, we need to select. And uh, if, if again, some uh, level of uh, 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 detail is required, then we need to implement that. And if any filter need to be applied, like uh, I'm interested in uh, only the sales of, let's say, Karnataka and uh, Telangana, so only that much. I'm not interested in anything else. So that filter we can put. And uh, based on the uh, requirement and based on the data that is available, I can select the chart uh, out of the uh, many charts which are available. And uh, finally, we can. Uh, I mean, uh, share the uh, chart to the client. Okay. So, like, see, you are uh, managing student data, invoices data, college data. Okay. How will be approach? Like, we are looking, we are into IT company and software uh, uh, domain uh, uh, project we are doing. Yes, I will see the difference. Uh, how will manage the things from academic yes. data to technology IT company or software data? Yes, sir. I was expecting this uh, question. Uh, so actually, uh, see, uh, data here also, uh, what I handle, here also the uh, data that is obtained uh, from the sources, we, uh, we get either on a daily basis or on a weekly basis. So uh, sometimes uh, even we run behind the people to get the data. So uh, 
data is uh, uh, i mean it's in the same format no matter uh, where we go so it is in the excel format only and uh, of course the column the name of the columns might change like here we have like id number and uh, name and uh, some other things but uh, in, in terms of the other th in terms of sales data if we consider there also it is billing number name mobile number and uh, uh, if at all some offer is given so it's it's almost uh, one and the same so data is i think uh, will be the uh, at least approximately similar so i don't yeah. think uh, exactly like he, uh, what we're telling i agree with you because uh, we do provide b2c business okay yes, we are yes. a b2b2 organization b2c organization we do business to customer even the academic also in university also business to customer the data way you fetch the attribute you collected almost is the same but same. sometimes uh, it'll be the product wise if different when the service wise different but a exactly. uh, yeah, customer point of view it is like name mobile number email id date of birth your uh, other details like personal details it's as same as what you are delivering yes. and we are same yes, also sir. nice uh, thanks for answer Thank you, sir. yeah so uh how how will uh, like uh, uh, where do you want to see after three year in uh, for uh, like considering sir, uh, sir i want to grow in the uh, same organization i want to develop uh, i want to further uh, develop uh, the skills uh, that that i have and uh, of course th this will be a, a transition from uh, the non it to it so of course i am ready for it and uh, i will uh, i will interact with more people i will get the knowledge so how exactly it works and all everything so i know it will be challenging but i am ready for it sir okay uh, this role is sanjeev is a individual contributor role like yes. someone who are looking minimal effort without yes. any anybody uh, interrupting outside from organization or inside client side like out from the client side Yes. so is that uh, you can manage this good yes sir. yes uh, definitely i can manage sir because uh, uh, i have at least uh, i mean uh, in in, uh, in the team that we have built so uh, earlier there were very less people but still the projects were there there were uh, a lot of work so uh, we have managed it uh, to our fullest capability and uh, yes i can handle the things uh, on my own and uh, considering my previous experiences uh, definitely sir i i can uh, manage the work on my okay. own okay nice i think uh, i almost done in uh, you know computer and i feel positive about you and i'm going to detail share with my hr hr will get back to you. and you, uh, how should how should you can join if you are uh, re uh, releasing of sir my notice period is uh, one month uh, but uh, i can uh, manage with that i can negotiate something with that thank you sanjeev thanks of uh, time okay thank you sir nice thank you sir nice talking to you sir